the East Coast is being pummeled with the power of a record-breaking superstorm. The storm is so big, so vast. They call this the Frankenstorm. You know, it was a, a direct hit. Debris and boats and decks and docks were, were rapidly flowing down the boulevard. Superstorm Sandy hit with full force. When I pulled into my driveway, I, I, I was kind of in shock. The ocean front took a major beating. Every bit of the dune system was destroyed and completely flattened. The waves hit the dunes pretty hard and carried all of the dunes and the salt water with them over the parking lot into our houses. 50 feet of road was chewed away and the entire underside of the house was washed away. The first thing we had to do is get the sand out. Second thing we had to do is dry out our basements, get the slime and the residual of seawater out of our house. We had a power wash, demold before we could call our carpenters in. Everyone had wind damage and screen damage, but all things considered, Cape May did very well. There weren't a lot of, of homes destroyed like there were up north. The area around uh, Cape May in particular fared very well. We contribute that to the Nature Conservancy restoration work here. There's been a lot of dune restoration and beach renourishment. So the beach was wide enough, the dunes tall enough, and the freshwater wetlands held enough water that we didn't see a lot of coastal flooding and we didn't see any dune washover. The whole gate got the worst damage because our beaches were, you know, over the years getting uh, eroded. The dunes were less and less because of northeasters and storms that we get. Dunes provide massive amounts of protection from storms, not only from flooding, but also wave damage. The places where they had beach replenishment and built up the dunes, they had very little or no damage. If we didn't have the trees and the dunes, we would be in the ocean. I don't worry that the cataclysmic number of events that came together on October 29th are going to happen all together again at the same time in my lifetime. But I do know that we don't need something that catastrophic because we are wide open sore now. So we have to take that very seriously and get our beaches strong, our dune systems built up, our vegetation integrated. I go up on my deck upstairs where I have a better view of the ocean and I can just see those waves pounding what little of the dunes we have left. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know if I can go through this again. After Superstorm Sandy, a lot of communities up and down the New Jersey seaboard are looking at ways they can actually protect themselves better from storms. And what we found is that natural ecosystems create not only an incredible natural environment, but also are probably one of the best methods to protect life and property from natural disasters. It's a great place to live if you don't have any hurricanes.